Uh, my name is Mitar, uh, and it's Rodrigo. He will do the other side of the demo. Um, um, we are a few students and a professor at uh, UC Berkeley, working on a project called Peer Library. Uh, the idea of the project is uh, to create an annotation platform for scientific papers. Uh, but let's start at the beginning. So we are coming out from the open access movement. Uh, we are seeing open access as an important thing in academia to um, gain uh, access to uh, scientific and academic uh, knowledge. We are producing a lot of knowledge in, in universities. But as, is, as you know, a lot of this knowledge is behind paywalls. So open access is a movement which tries to address that, tries to uh, open those publications. Uh, in, in general, there are issues with how we are dealing with academic results currently. Um, so as I said, they are restricted into the academic community. It costs a lot, uh, these restrictions to academic community. Um, the reading of papers is often separate from discovery and discussion. You're reading it somewhere, you're finding it in another way. When you're discussing it, it's often offline uh, among your peers. Um, and the only information you are getting while you're talking with your peers at the university is often stays there. It's not collected. So every researcher does a lot of work while reading the papers. We do a lot of reading of papers, but this work is not captured at all. Uh, and many researchers have to redo it, redo it again and again. So our question is, can we improve something on this? Um, well, OK. Um, so what we're also be trying to answer is, what will come after open access? If, if we manage to get all publications open access, we are trying to create a tool uh, to answer the next questions. What can we do then? Uh, so P Library tries to combine different parts, different answers to this question. We are trying to be a comprehensive platform, a uh, web platform for that. Um, the important part we see is that knowledge, that publications shouldn't, shouldn't be just open access. They should also be accessible. Because maybe we forget that when we're in university and you read the paper and you have issues understanding the paper, you can go to your peer or to your advisor and ask for advice. But many, many people around the world don't, don't have this privilege. They cannot go and ask their peers for this. So we are trying to bridge, uh, bridge those communities, communities of independent scholars, third world uh, scholars and so on, with other researchers who might have this knowledge which, uh, to share with others. So how we can bridge these communities of readers of publications who have an understanding of the paper and new readers of publications who don't yet have an understanding of the uh, of paper. Um, we are building on others. We are really trying to integrate uh, many other open source projects. Uh, so we are building on a hypothesis annotator branch. We are using PDF.js. Uh, Meteor is our framework. Uh, we are uh, stealing ideas from Alive's lens. And uh, we are using a Guardian scribe as an editor for text. Um, our idea is let's pull, polish all of those great projects into one unique and uh, unified experience. We believe that user experience is the most important thing for adoption. Not the most, but one of many important things, but uh, definitely very important thing for adoption. We are trying to make a really great user experience. And I think the best thing to show you is to demo that. So that's how it looks. The initial page, that's like a demo instance, my local, uh, my local computer. Um, the, we are still developing the second release now, which will be probably in like a week. Uh, and that's uh, how it looks currently. So you can search for a uh, uh, you can search for a publication. So we are trying to address also discovery. Um, just a second for my notes. Okay, so search for a publication. For example, you're searching for a star. You can find some results. You have a preview of that. Um, abstract, you can see the abstract. Decide, oh, that's a paper I want, I'm interested in. Uh, and you can like open the paper. The main idea is that we display the paper directly in the browser uh, so the user don't have to um, read the paper elsewhere and then have discussions somewhere else, but they can really use it together. So we have a, a paper on the one side and then annotations or discussions on the other side. And the interesting thing is also that uh, you can import your own publication. So you can select um, a paper you have, PDF. It hopefully works or not. Let me see. It's a demo. Oh, something great. Okay. Oh, okay. So 
uploading the paper, and it uploaded the paper. See, uh, now you can see what happens if uh, this paper was already annotated by somebody else. So what, when you import the PDF, we in fact use PDF just to find which publication are you interested in, and then we display this PDF together with annotations by others, made by others. So here are some annotations. You can see a highlight, you can see annotation. Uh, you can also scroll down, new, new annotations appear as depending on the on the which highlights are shown and so on. Um, for example, I can make my own annotation. I can I can highlight part of it. Say test. It it appears below. Um, so that's a new new highlight, new annotation. Um, and and uh, the important thing that you know you you, you can also have uh, comments like um, can you uh, so I, I can give some feedback to Rodrigo about this annotation uh, the annotation can be rich text annotation so and one interesting thing about, about our system is that it's real time so as he is working on. Uh, I immediately see the results. So we can really have a discussion. So see, now he says, sure. Um, and that in real time appeared on our discussion. And he's adding a link to, the, to, to our uh, um, annotation. And when he presses OK, it appears immediately there. If you see here, against the method is now a link. In real time, the content of uh, annotation updates. So it's not just the annotations themselves or comments appear, but also the content can be uh, real time edited. Um, yeah, and that's, I think, everything uh, from our demo. So, yeah, so that's the prototype version. Uh, we will release it publicly on prelibrary.org in a week, week of development. Otherwise, uh, follow us on our uh, blog, uh, Twitter account, and everything is open source. So, feel, feel free to build upon that and, and ask us questions or contribute and so on. Uh, thank you. That's it. Hi, Mitar. Um, this, this is William Gunn from Mendeley. Um, I thought that was really, really neat. You've come a long way with the product. Um, I'm liking it. You mentioned that you're using PDF.js and also the eLife Lens, um, and I guess that's to render uh, a greater diversity of content, mostly. Um, and kind of in the same format. Is that right? Um, uh, we are, for, e uh, e -Lan, uh, for Lens, we are mostly using the DIAS. We didn't use the code base. So if you see the system, it looks similar. Uh, we haven't yet integrated their system. It is more that the look is the same because currently we are supporting only PDFs. But the idea is that later on, we can have easier time integrating with also their code base for uh, non-PDF publications and that the things will look the same so that you don't, you will not see really the difference between PDF or non-PDF. But currently, it's more just uh, the look and this idea of scroll bar and 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 layout and so on. And currently, you're just supporting open access content that's available by PDF to... uh, on P Library. So uh, open access content is available to everybody, but you can also import your own um, your own publication. Like you can import your private publication, which is maybe a draft. It's like even even not published. Or you can upload also a closed access paper and mark it as closed access, and then it's uh, available only to those people who have PDF. So you, you cannot just open it. You, can, you have to import it to the system so that we then say, OK, you have access to the paper, and then we display the paper. This is a comment, but you know, I've seen so many dozens of demos now of annotation systems, and we seem to have converged on this idea that you need to have the thing on the left that you're annotating and the thing on the right is the annotation pane. But that means that we're never going to do this on a small device because we can't, there's not enough real estate on my, on my smartphone to ever do annotation effectively. Yeah. Is, that, is that what we're seeing? So the version you, you were seeing was the version for the desktop computers. So for the tablets and, and, and mobile apps, uh, there will be a different version, different. And it won't work. You've convinced us that it won't work. You said you have to have a unified experience between annotation and the thing annotated, or it can't work. You just said that. You want unified uh, experience between different projects we are integrating. But you just said that you have to have this unified experience of annotation and the thing being annotated for it to work. That's never going to work on a small device, is it? Experience and user interface are not the same thing. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay. That's a good answer. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the answer, the answer for, from the helpful answer was that the uh, um, experience and user interface is not the same thing. And at that time, saying the experience is important that you know the workflow that the things work the same that uh, you know if, if we would just blindly integrate different annotation plugins uh, it would dif work differently somebody would work on click somebody would on highlight but we can do this for different devices but yeah that's definitely, definitely a big problem hmm? small <laughs> Else? Okay, but yeah, it's true. We we are currently starting desktop. We haven't yet moved to the tablets and so on. Maybe then discover that that is really hard problem, and we will open to the community to find us a better solutions for that. That's true. It's not all problems are not yet solved. Bob, maybe you'd like to wager some cash. I might do that. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. the any any? How much? How much? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? Anybody else? Oh, uh, okay, thank you very much. Okay, thanks.